Hi. It's 8.30 on Sunday night. We just put Sunny down. We are going to do episode five. What's that? This is um, a new snack that I got at Whole Foods. And it's the chocolate covered yogurt Ooh, thing. That looks really good. I haven't tried that yet. That, that's why I brought it. It tastes that's so sweet. It tastes pretty crazy. Hashtag not an ad. What's your review? Whoa. Crazy, right? It's like, how do you even wrap your head around it? You like peanut butter There's meets tart meets chocolate but I think it would be good frozen mmm can I have one more bite and then you can have the rest if you want no I'm good All right. interesting I'll have the rest really right. okay I really didn't want it I mean I that was rude <laughs> I'll just eat my belly so I am the bearer of good news in black today. Okay. Glamour is gonna do a piece on you. You're joking. No, Sasha Iglehart is one of the top editors. She loved the lookbook and she's heard great things about the line. Wait, so what are they gonna do? Just a little write up or? I think they're gonna do a full page. This is page. I did a really good job at my makeup. You look great. I always, I think actually I had eyelash extensions here. I was in a phase where I was really into <coughs> eyelash extensions, which is like when they attach fake eyelashes to your, to your eyelashes and they you, they don't come off for like a month and a half. Like, wow. Unlike Juliet from Siesta Key? Right, so she will, she'll put on like, stri actually. Like ones that like. No, she gets them too, but she just gets really long, like not natural looking ones. Like I was like, give me the shortest, just make it more full. I don't want anyone to know that I have anything fake on my lashes. One of their favorite items is your skirt. Like, she's just like, we love our skirts, we love our skirts. <laughs> like, it was so annoying how much you liked your skirt. <laughs> I love your skirt. Oh, I hate cheer. I want to send April with you because I think it would be kind of slick if you went with PR representation. What if I brought Roxy? God, are we going to do this again? Roxy's helped me so much in this whole process that she helped deserves to be there. Helped you what? I gave her a paycheck. You got her a job. How is she helping you? Because she helped me with the editor. This, this. <laughs> It, it, it was thing, just Kelly playing along. It was definitely Kelly playing along, but it wasn't until you pointed out that, like, it's like um, you hired Roxy to do this job, and now you're telling her <laughs> that she's a horrible <laughs> at it and not to do it. So silly. Believe me, Roxy is not Glamour Magazine. You're in the middle of building this brand right now, and you're doing a really great job. This is going to be a breakup piece. It's really going to give you an uh -huh. opportunity to define your own visual world and your own identity. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Kat. You were like, all those words sounded good. Yeah, okay. I'm in. <laughs> Can you pile some more shit in this tiny room? Yeah, is that toilet paper in that I can't believe Adam container? allowed this. I know. I've never been wrong. I'm Kelly Cattrall. Was maybe trying to like do the real dichotomy of like Elle and her whole uptown thing and then the downtown gritty fashion biz. Yeah. He wasn't like oblivious. Yeah. We still haven't gotten the DVDs by the way. It's the same day Oh my god, yeah. Week. We're gonna get them though by the next time we record this. I'm gonna order them as soon as we stop recording this. I like the commitment. What, what, what are do you we, looking at? Yeah, she's, is that Eric Moran? She's looking at like a pop-up window that's like, like you need to log in. <laughs> this is not your computer. It, look, it feels like she's on UnitedAirlines.com, you know, like something <laughs> like that. <laughs> we have a staff meeting tomorrow. What are you going to contribute, Olivia? <gasps> Straight up. We'll just have to wait and see. Oh. oh. Hey, I have um, sunglasses on today. I don't think I'm doing anything. Do you know Eric Damon? He's a mm -hmm. costume designer for Gossip Girl. Yeah. He's got a book coming out and they're having a big party for him. Can you come? Yeah, I'll come with you. I'll be your date. I think probably around 8 p.m. Okay. I like your shades. Um, thanks. You're Gotta run. Um, Aaron, did you want to come? I'm having drinks with Page Six tomorrow night. All right, well then I'll see you guys at the fashion meeting. Bye. 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 
Aaron's hatred for Olivia looks like it's making her tired. It's like she, yeah, she looks, looks stressed like it's from taking, it. It's taking it out of her. Mm -hmm. Except for her hair looks really she, good. She looks good. Uh -huh. I, I know tired doesn't always, she looks sleepy, you know what I mean? Yes. Not like tired looking. She looks yes. great in the last two episodes. I see what you mean. Look, I'm wearing black. Yeah, you look great in black. Oh my God. You really never wear black. I don't. Should I wear black more often? I, 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 it, either way, to me, is going to be great. It's just kind of like, it's, it's strange. I've never seen it. Yeah, it's interesting. I like my hair, too. What? Are we being nice to you? Yay. Let's do this weird thing. That's a sunny song. <laughs> Hello. I remember this lady being so nice. Hey, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And Maria, who's one of our accessories. Oh, yeah, I remember her. She's beautiful. Let's take a look at her. Yeah. Look who at her. Is her. Maria. I think she, she's an editor at, I think she was maybe at Vogue. Still? Oh. Or in the, at this point in time? No, this, she's a glamour right. here, but I think maybe she eventually got to Vogue, but we'll have to fact check that. Okay. To give you a sense of what we're after with the page and show you what other designers have done with us in the past. We had Michael Kors, we had Zach Posen, Anna Sui. Wow. Um, I'm in pretty amazing company. Yeah, that's <laughs> fantastic. No, we're very excited. Provence is Schuler. And each designer chose the outfit around it, right? Yes, and everything extra on the page is under 100. This is really great. And to be able to go in your closet, correct? And yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So we'll have it all mm -hmm. prepared. You design all your own, you come up with everything. Yeah, all the design is totally me. I have a friend, Roxy, and she's kind of been like my second eye. She's your partner? Well, kind of. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say partner, but she's been there throughout the whole process. She, she's like, not your partner. It's okay with you, I'd have her come here and help me. Okay, looking forward to meeting her. I mean, I didn't really make it very clear what she does. I could have said she's just like my colleague at the PR firm, but who knows? Maybe you did and they kind of... Yeah, know. yeah. Ooh, who's Eric? I don't... He's costume designer yeah, Eric and author. Damon. They set him up before for Gossip Girl. Right, right. That's really cool. That is really cool to like cross over like the Blair Waldorf mm -hmm. from fiction TV and the one from reality TV. And if you're wondering, that's our dishwasher that's making the sound of like the thing at the dentist office. By the way, pretend you're they at the said. dentist office. Pretend you're at the dentist office. <laughs> My dad's a dentist and he'll tell jokes. He'll be like, so how are you? And you'll be like, I can't. You know, and you go. Yes. <laughs> How good was that? Yes. Oh my god, everybody's here for you tonight. Remember, like, what is that? It's good, right? Do a, do a spin for him. No! Oh. <laughs> what, what? That was good. <laughs> Olivia just, like, she... She dresses so well that every... Like, people can't stay mad at her. Uh-huh. Even Joe, like, for the stuff that he is putting on for the show, like... It's just, I don't know, she makes sense in fashion, like. Yes, well, when you're in fashion, you appreciate that so much that, yeah, she gets away with more and she just looks so good all the time. And also, <sighs> in this age of fashion, like, it was it was kind of acceptable to be the bitchy fashion girl. Right. Like, that's what the fashion industry was right, like. Right. And people, that's, that's the stereotype right. that you see because it's based off of truth. Right. Right. Um, but it's not really, sorry, it's not really like that anymore. Neil Shaw, dude. Hey. Who's checking your Blackberry? How's it going? <laughs> Blackberry reference. It's awkward when you, um, when someone is sitting and standing and then you end up yeah, like kissing like mid, halfway. mid stand up, you're like, <coughs> I know. And then like, it's, if it's a guy and a guy, like the guy ends up hugging the other guy's head in his <laughs> stomach and it's like, ugh. How's the new fashion show? Yeah, 
You mean Alexis? Elle's Nouvelle. Was it? Elle's Nouvelle. Yeah. I don't think we could have asked for anyone better. She's mm -hmm. such a great addition. Uh, so like, what's the office gossip? Um, we're doing this emerging young designer boutique okay. where we showcase their collection online. So we got Whitney Ford, who mm -hmm. has Whitney Eve. Of course. So we had the shoot, and Olivia was supposed to show up. And she didn't. She refused. What was her reason? Well, she didn't want to be affiliated with Whitney's line. But does she have fashion aspirations of her own? Or? Um, I couldn't tell you, but you don't get to pick and choose what kind of work you want to do. Is there an angle, or is it just... It's kind of unfair to me, because I had to do what Olivia was going to do. You know, which was, you know, interview Whitney for L.com. Yeah. So, it turned out fine, but heads up would have been nice. Well, I think that would be an amazing story, actually. He's a gossip writer. What is she? What? Like, she, sh she should know that they, he's going to want to write about this. I think she was telling him so she would. At least we're supposed to feel yeah. that way. Right? There's no way she's that naive. Mm. Oh, I had a nice time. Yeah, did you have a good time? I did. I'm really impressed by how you just sort of go in and start talking to anybody and everybody. I can just... talk to a park bench. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything that you need? No, I'm good, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, for you to never ever come out of the closet. <laughs> lock, lock yourself in there. I didn't know that Olivia was so personable. Uh huh. You can't tell. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Here did you, you bring A to Z? Yes, it looks amazing. I oh, love I love it. It's gonna look great on the wall. I want to say thank you for coming with me to that Eric Damon party. Oh no worries, that was fun. I'm actually hosting a party at Bergdorf's coming up okay. with Linda Fargo love her. for Ellie Tahari. Cool. And I'd love for you to oh, I went to this party. Could you wear Tahari? Yeah, for sure. For <laughs> sure. Of course, I will. I'm really happy you're going to be with me. I think that'll be really good. Yeah. She was is... just becoming like more of an ambassador for the magazine, which is not such a bad idea. No, it completely makes sense yeah. to me. Yeah. It's like, I, I don't need her like, like sorting mail. Like just, just like make associate Elevate the my magazine, magazine mm -hmm. with you, with your whole mm -hmm. fucking shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just come to your parties. Your taste, yeah. your presence, your conversation. I don't need you a top shop looking for jeans. Right, exactly. Are we Team Olivia? <gasps> Definitely not. I, I think I'm in black again. You're crazy. You are. I can't believe we were allowed to shoot at a chain. Mm. This Bergdorf's event that Josie and Ali Tahari are hosting, it's on their contemporary level. You know the level, the base. You look great. I look very New York. Will you pull my shirt back? Am I starting to like become cooler? Yeah, you're changing. I feel like I'm trying to impress you. Me? Mm -hmm. It's still scary though, because last time was not good by any means. Do you need a basket? What are you doing? Oh my god, I think this was one. I think this was the day that um that I was a paparazzi caught me smoking a cigarette and my dad saw it because he had me on Google Alert and called me and was like, Whitney. Dad. I just remember this outfit being paparazzi <laughs> with a cigarette. <laughs> it's like anyone black. So you're not going to be too thrilled at this, but Kelly came to me with this offer to show my pieces in Glamour magazine for the state of price page. So I told Kelly that I wanted to bring Good walk and talk. I haven't done this in a while. Mm -hmm. The way we would do this is like the girls would start here and would have a camera here and one across the street. And like the, the one across the street would film them until they, they get got the here. wide, right? Yeah. And like they would both be like tracking with them. And then when you got past. They, they're, how did it wait? We would have to stop the conversation no, when we got to them. Because we would have like three cameras going and one would flip flop behind. And then when you pass it, uh -huh. the other one would like pick up its sticks and like, like run. run it all the way down there. And then like the coordinators would have to like be looking at their monitors and see what people packed, popped up in the background and get mm. them to sign. And it was like a lot of work and a lot of stress to do a walk and talk. And then like Oof. the audio would have to trail you in the street and then someone would have to watch like the audio guy to make sure he wasn't getting hit by a car. And then we'd all have to follow along listening to make sure we were doing stories. It was, it was, it was difficult, but Very it looked good. Difficult. It looks great. So that woman signed a clearance? Yes, 100%. <laughs> Anyone who popped up for like three or more seconds. Mm -hmm. 
it, it's not worth my energy to argue it with Kelly. You know what you're getting when you bring me. I said that I wanted you there, so I want you to... You know what you're getting. You definitely I want to go. I'm gonna make fun of you. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna call your skirt a hooker. <laughs> I'm excited for an evening party. Mm. Love a good Linda Fargo sighting. Linda Love Fargo Jad from... Doesn't this kind of make you want to be in New York at like a fancy party? Kind of? I would love to. This is busy. Are the Falcomires here? Uh, how are you? Chic and fabulous as always. What do you think I'm wearing? No, I love it. Ginny and Linda are here. Yeah. I definitely want to go talk to them. I'm just not 100% sure what I want to say. I mean, they remember you. You have a name for yourself now. I'll just talk to them and tell them, I guess, what I'm up to. Olivia, you know Ellie. Hi, nice nice to you. What do you think of her outfit, then? I love it. <laughs> really, Tari? I love it. She just say his name back to him? Yeah. I think she was probably saying it to someone else. She's amazing at parties. Oh, not everyone. I mean, we're talking about Olivia. She's an ass kiss. I wonder if these people actually... An ass kiss? She gets ahead and does whatever, but... She just seems to always try to, like nudge her way in somehow. That's her skill. Neil, again in the tweed. Good for you for wearing your shoes. Yeah. Me so much last time. My jacket's cool and my pants are cool. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. Aww. Say the word. Ili Tahari. She's great at parties. She's just going to say Ili Tahari the whole time. <laughs> She's like, um, can I get my check now? Ili Tahari. I want the day to come when I show my stuff to Josie. Like, I bring in my racks and I roll it like right past Olivia's desk. Hopefully she'll still be in a cubicle and... Yeah, right? I should be like, cute cubicle. <gasps> <gasps> bitchy, bitchy, bitchy. Do you know Olivia? I do. Yeah. How are things uh, going with Aaron these days? Going well? Yeah, I mean, we don't really work very closely together because I'm on the editorial side and, you know, she's a PR. Slave at the office. We have an anniversary this year, so there's a lot going on. 25. Wow. I know. It doesn't look a day over 24. That was a good one. Yeah, was a good party She was my age. So I guess we're 24. I'm trying to find some newer designers. Yeah, I mean, Olivia's been a great asset to Elle. I mean, she just knows so many people in New York City. You know, and that's important for the magazine to constantly know what's going on. Good to see you. Good to see you. It's true. She knows like up and coming designers, like she knows a lot. No, because I think he was actually really a little bit spent with you. Oh, I'll take that. Listen, if it gets us an item, that's great. Uh, I just got a text from Roxy. She's not coming tonight. Well, hopefully she doesn't do that tomorrow. She better not do that tomorrow. Sticks. Sammy looks nice. Mm -hmm. brr, brr. This would have been a Pitbull song, but this is like Pitbull free licensing. Wow. Let's just go. I still have that sweater. It's one of my favorite sweaters. Um, tights. Lo I remember those are Loffler Randall shoes, which is still alive and well and a really cute brand. The sequin mini skirt, bold, and a sweater with a statement necklace. It's a lot. It's. A, it's Let's zoom in. I like the sweater with the necklace situation, and I like my hair. Great. I do, too. Yeah. Start with that one. Um, yeah. All right. Madeline Escredito's. Where's, um... Maria? <laughs> there she yeah. is. Sure. <laughs> um, I have a hard time making decisions. When is Roxy getting here? I have no idea. She would That's be good. really helpful right now. Um, that's cute with that. Yeah, I really like that. I think that's really sweet. Hi. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This I'm is sorry. Roxy. Hi. This is Hi. Maria Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. 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 
Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Catch me up. So they chose these two skirts. Okay. And right now I'm playing with that one. I'm making more of a flirty, sophisticated kind of look. Sophisticated? Yeah, it's girly. Like, it's yeah. girly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just I feel like it's so obvious. Oh, Roxy. Kind of cool Do you bad. remember this? Yeah. I think it was definitely her job to like be a little bit more risque and try to stir the pot. So you were sort of expecting it. Yeah, okay. and I think that the editors probably knew a little bit too, but yeah. We'll take a peek at the hacks if you want. I was wondering where you were. I literally, I ran here. I was like dodging people on the street. Uh-oh, mom's giving me a little hot, dude. Look at these. Oh, that was in front of people? That's so embarrassing. I really hope not. Ooh, I like this too. Get some crazy chains on this. Right. Oh my god, now we're doing good. Hi guys. Hi Sasha. Hi. Hi. I'm Sasha. I'm Roxy. Nice how to meet you. you. Hi, how are you? How are you? Wow guys, looks great. I started with this look. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make like a really girly party girl situation. And then the second one that Roxy actually helped style was like mm -hmm. a lot funkier and edgier. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm feeling partial to this. What, what do you right. think? Right, well, well, this is my opinion. I like this one because I think it's way more like ballerina, gone punk rock, gone a little hooker. <laughs> But in a good way, like not like hooker hooker, like Britney Spears kind of hot. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I agree with, you know, the girl you're saying. I trust your guys' opinion. Mm -hmm. I feel confident in each option, so. Great. Foxy just went over the line. <clears throat> Is this another like this one or this one? situation they're gonna pick one of those yes options. exactly and one is like the girly one that i did and one is the edgy one that roxy did <clears throat> i remember which one they chose though but they're, i won't spoil it they were like the cover thing works so well we'll do it again hey hi guys hi so pretty thank you this woman looks like someone so much and i can't figure out who it is hey Someone from something scary. Does she look amazing or what? Yeah, she's in like a three-piece suit. Hi guys, thanks for coming. <sighs> it's been an incredible week. Why is there a Busy, active social week for us. Certainly, Olivia, you weren't shy about saying hi to everybody. <laughs> I'm not shy. I mean, everybody loved what you were wearing, no? We had a great event at Bergdorf's, that party that I hosted. He's kind of in his uniform again. Home run. You met Neil. With the leather jacket on top, though. I've met him a few times, so it's... Her presentation voice, like, like when anyone talks to her, she's like, yeah, no, just really want to set, set you up, like, to be disappointed. Like, let me immediately manage expectations. I know him, but no, nothing that you want to have come out of it will uh, be come out of it. coming out of it. Okay, just so you know. But yes, I am beautiful, and yes, I can talk to a park bench. So... Whitney, are you laughing? I can't hear anything. <laughs> that was just such a good impression. People, I can't stop touching my cold ears. There's an air vent that's uh -huh, blowing uh -huh. right on my ears, and I can't stop touching them. <laughs> People really love your silent laugh, by the way. Really? Yes, they've started to notice. Oh, you guys. I got today's post, and what do we have? A mention in page six. I'm so excited, <laughs> and it's all about how you guys hate each other. New Belle. So here we are, oh. Alexis Brian Morgan's oh, new gig as Elle's fashion director. Yay! Oh, I mean, that's great. It was the lead item. Mm -hmm. So great to Aaron for getting that, that item. Was, were they all hoping that it would be about Olivia? Or was Olivia hoping it would be about her? I think Olivia was hoping it would be about her, but and, it, go on. And Aaron probably hoped that they hoped that they would say maybe something bad about Olivia. Uh, I'm getting the vibe that Aaron made it about Alexis Brian yeah. Davis or whatever her name is, uh, and she's just happy that Olivia thought it was going to be about her, but it wasn't. Got it. Hey, so you look hot. Are you wearing? To like to go over a it's a different version. Thing. It's a different version of the dress. It's a top. You look amazing. Go Thank you. The, the you just did the thing with your hair. I did, I did. <laughs> You're like, Let me make the golden arches. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 
a skirt. Wait, one is it the called a hooker ballerina look? Because I heard that you went with an assistant, which I'm assuming that was you. Is that your role? Let me just check myself. <laughs> Let me just, yeah. Especially at a Condé Nast magazine that's that girly. All right. This business is made up of freaks and followers, and I'm totally a freak. So you want to be a freak? That's great, but you pay the price. Good luck. I support or not? Am, or am, am I, I getting fired? Am I like you? <laughs> or did, should I pack up my tiny table space and leave? <sighs> also, what oh. is my computer login and password? <laughs> <laughs> I've been meaning to ask you. Okay. Ooh, okay. I look pissed. But, you know, the other thing is, I left the decision about Roxy with you, and I told you that I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. I just think that, you know, we've established today now that she's a freak. Mm -hmm. So don't bring her non-freaky places, because she has to go her way, too. Because mm -hmm. they're headed in different I'm not directions. helping her by doing this, either. Interesting, it's interesting. Really place for her. Okay. All right, congratulations, though. This is great. She Thank said it's you. coming out next month. Thank you, Kelly. All right, Andrew, can we go for this call? Okay, Andrew, back to PR. I also remember this outfit, too, getting paparazzi in New York. Wow. And I remember after the scene going shopping at Chanel and buying myself something there, I bought myself a black patent leather rhinestone purse, which I actually have a funny story about. Um, and then there's... I'm gonna. You must have been like, what is my life? I was. I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. Like, every, every day, there, it felt like there was something exciting like this happening for me. That's crazy. It was so cool. 109, I think, right? Or 101? I was really happy with how it all turned out. I just think they may have overstepped your boundaries a little bit. I hope it doesn't compromise any relationship that I have with them. I don't feel like at this point we're at the place where, like, I have to apologize and pretend, like, that's not who I am. She just gave you this look. She said, I'm going to double down on that statement and let you know I'm keeping it. It feels like you kind of knew she was going to go in there and like stir up a storm, mm -hmm. but everything was going to be okay. And she was down to play ball, mm -hmm. and you weren't really that, you weren't mad at her. That's exactly 100% correct. And I think that the whole team at Glamour knew, knew that like she was going to come in, in and cause something just so that we could have a storyline right. there. So nobody, you weren't like... I wasn't embarrassed. Right. Like, Which is kind of, you know, I mean, it's the right thing to do to you from the producer standpoint because you really were a designer and like they can't come in and fuck with your business like that by just having like Roxy come and say hooker, like drug addict, you know? Yeah, but I did... I, 100%, but I had to have a lot of conversations and be on the same page with them because it was my business. Right. Like, there was a lot of, of talking before scenes about how everything was going to play out, right. all the different scenarios, how I was going to look, right. how the editing was going to look. Like, there was so much of me trying to, like, make Protect sure. Protect your shit. Yeah, exactly. You have a flyaway. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. All right. That was season two, episode five, The Bell of L. That was good. It's good. It's very inside fashion now, which, mm -hmm. like, go, great. Like, if you, that's the access you have, like, make it all about fashion. I like that. I like going and seeing what happens behind the scenes of the magazines. And it feels like it's been long enough that, like, it's been long enough since this period of time that it's interesting to look back. I mean, I guess we could have made that point back in <laughs> episode one or two. Yeah. But, like, the fashion world, only because I just listened to this podcast about it, feels, like, different it, enough yeah, now it for it's worth so to go back and much. look at it then. Mm -hmm. Um, do you want to tell people to subscribe and bell ring and yeah, yeah, be yeah. involved in our community and support you guys, each other? You guys, we are so appreciative. Subscribe so you get notified when we load up new stuff. <laughs> That's okay. I like that. Load up. And thanks for watching along. We'll see you guys next week. Peace in the streets. You're not wearing a bra. No. Your nipple's out. It Dang. is? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>